today we're doing a kind of, I suppose a cross of science and art, it's very exciting. Um, I was looking at the work of an artist, a gentleman called um, Daniel Mackey, and he does these most beautiful wildlife paintings, and he incorporates um, paintings of, I suppose, the habitats inside them. Um, and they're just lovely, really, really lovely. If you get a chance, go and have a look at his work online, because it's absolutely stunning. Um, and I thought it'd be really nice to do that with a kind of magazine collage. So, what I've done is I have printed out a silhouette of, um, well, I've chosen to do a um, hedgehog, just because the pictures that I had in my magazines were all kind of British nature, so I thought hedgehog would be quite nice. But if you had maybe lots of pictures of the sea, maybe you could do a whale or a fish or a jellyfish or whatever you wanted. Um, if you had loads of urban things, like so maybe buildings and things, maybe you could do um, foxes because they've now moved into this kind of this world, haven't they? Or even a cat because cats live in that kind of urban environment. So it's entirely up to you. Whatever you have, choose an animal. Um, that would live in the habitat, whose habitat would be the images that you have. Does that make sense? Right, so I printed off my hedgehog and then I cut him out, so I've got a hole. Now I used a scalpel, and if you're going to do that, make sure a grown-up does it with you. Um, if you are a grown-up, you can do it on your own, obviously. Um, and if you can't use a scalpel because you haven't got one, you can just fold it in half snip it with a pair of scissors and then very carefully cut around the outside and that works just as well just find it quicker so I have just very quickly and it's very very rough placed it on another piece of paper and I've drawn around the inside of it and as you can see it's not very neat and it doesn't have to be because that's not what it's about so I'm going to turn you down so you can see what I'm doing now so ooh, a bit wobbly there so I have got all of my pictures of a hedgehog's habitat and this is where the science bit comes in, because you need to find out where they would live, because that's kind of really important. And I'm just going to stick these onto my drawing that I did my really rough outline using my glue stick, which has gone awry. There we go. Um, so you could do some research into your animal, or if you find the pictures first, you could then do some research into what animals would live in that habitat. So either way, and maybe you could then spend some time looking at what they would eat, um, why they like being in that habitat, that type of thing, and why it's ideal for them. So how they've adapted to it. So we could get a bit of Darwin in there as well, which would be great. Oh, one of my pictures has just fallen apart. I've got a bit carried away with the scalpel. Um, oh, I'm going to stop in the right pickle. This is why I got an apron on today. I knew this was going to happen. Now, I am not a great one for neat cutting. I tend to be a bit of a ripper, so I tear things instead of cutting when it comes to this. So I've kind of torn mine and then I'm overlapping them to make them look really kind of funky and edgy. And then I think I'm going to put my flowers along the bottom. So you can do the same with this as you did with the Frida Kahlo. So lay it all out first, then take a photograph of it, and then stick it on referring back to your photograph so you remember where you put everything um, and then my last one is I believe they're lilies actually I do love a lily but as you can see it's all country garden which is kind of where hedgehogs like to live isn't it kind of in gardens and where it's all overgrown and they feel really safe um, and also having that much grass and things they'll find lots of worms to eat because they do love a worm don't they somebody's going to come and tell me that hedgehogs hate worms now so I've stuck all of my pictures on and I've left my nose. Now if you want to, you can cover the whole thing, but I want to show you something that you can do instead. So this is my picture, my out cut out, and I'm going to make sure I've got it the right way round, and then I'm going to glue the back of my cut out. Just around the edges, nice and neat. Try not to press too hard with your glue or you get in a bit of a pickle because it kind of squirts out each side and then I'm going to very carefully lay it in the right place just about there now if you want to and you filled the whole thing you can just leave it like that and that actually looks quite nice or you can take it to the next step and you can draw 
a little detail. So I decided to draw the hedgehog's face because I thought it would look really cute if I added his face on and his little ear. I didn't know hedgehogs have ears. Did you know hedgehogs have ears? Hedgehogs have ears. And I've now stuck his little face. So we've got his habitat here, his little face here, and then his silhouette. And you can trim that up to make it look really, really neat. If you can find any kind of cutting tool at all. A bit disorganised today. It's not very good, if I'm honest. I've got bits everywhere. I've got an art lesson this afternoon online. So I'm preparing for that. I've got Zoom meeting. Trying to distract the cat. And it looks really good as well if you've got black card and you can do it in black. So that's another option. And that looks lovely. Yep. Yeah. So, um, magazines as a kind of habitat art project, um, which is kind of really nice with the way the weather's going, because with the weather getting better, we're getting to see more nature. We've just stuck one of those um, see-through acrylic bird um, feeders on our window, because we've got cats, we can't have on the ground floor. Um, and we've got loads of birds coming through actually already. We're very excited in our household. So you could do just a different bird, couldn't you? So here, Daniel Mackey has done um, a robin. So you could maybe do a, um, a bluebird or, yeah, choice is yours. Um, but we're going all natural today and we're looking at science and habitats and creating a piece of art with, again, recycled magazines. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.